Hello, our dear viewers, and welcome to our show. Today, we're going to be talking to you about beans and the various health benefits of beans. Now, I know a lot of people try to avoid beans in their life. They do cause bloating, they do cause gas, and a lot of people just cannot tolerate beans. They are very heavy to some people on the digestive tract. But today we're going to talk about many of these health benefits that beans have and then what you can do to lessen these complications or these side effects that we might get from consuming beans. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is this new study that has shown that beans actually are really powerful antioxidants. Now we've always heard, you know, a lot of research coming out and emphasizing the importance of having red wine because of that antioxidant compound that it contains. Well, the good news is it's not red wine alone. Beans also contain the same compounds. So now we can have beans and actually almost get the same benefit that people would get from consuming red wine. But it's not any beans, so you need to do, focus on things like pinto beans, which are probably more native to South America, and they're the ones that contain that compound that could actually slow down the aging process because it is a bean that's very rich in antioxidants. But pinto beans are not alone, so are black beans and mung beans. So try to look for the darker pigmented beans. Those are the ones that technically have more of the antioxidants in them. So the redder or the browner the beans are, the more antioxidants they contain, they can actually slow down this aging process. And they've been found to actually contain as much antioxidant as blueberries or pomegranate or even turmeric, which were things that we really relied on for our antioxidant supply. So the great news is, is you can have your beans and you can just cook them in any way. So if you cook them with rice or you just boil them or you make them into a soup or a stew, it doesn't really matter because beans are really very sturdy and they will still contain that high antioxidant amount in them that are really very beneficial to the health. So if you're someone that could be allergic to these berries, then definitely do consider adding beans to your diet. Now we've got several more health benefits to discuss, so please stay tuned. Welcome back, our dear viewers. So let's take a look at other health benefits that beans can provide. And one huge thing that beans can do is they can actually lower your blood pressure. So anybody with any blood pressure complications, definitely do consider adding beans to your diet. So things like pinto beans and lentils and even black beans are excellent ways to naturally lower your blood pressure. But the key is definitely to avoid using salt in the cooking process. Now I know a lot of people like to soak their beans in salt. You can use something like baking soda to soak your beans. This will let the bean mature faster so when you come to cook it, it does cook faster. And definitely if you are someone that suffers from any blood pressure issues, don't go for the canned beans variety because those are loaded in sodium. Definitely try to get the fresh beans that you will have to soak overnight to be able to cook the next day. But like I said, black beans and pinto beans and even lentils have been scientifically proven to help lower blood pressure. But it's not blood pressure alone, it's even cholesterol. So anybody with any cholesterol issues, 
definitely try incorporating beans at least into your weekly dietary regimen if not your daily now I know that beans do bloat so you can start adding them to your diet gradually if you're someone that has a sensitive stomach and you bloat really fast what you can do is you can add a lot of spices like cumin this will reduce the bloating and you can also have things like peppermint tea after which will help ease the bloating of the beans but beans have definitely been found to lower your cholesterol levels and actually they could increase the good cholesterol and lower the bad one just like olive oil could and what you can do is maybe you can add things like lentils or chickpeas or black beans to your salad and add olive oil to them to actually boost the benefit and the great thing about beans is that they're loaded in fiber so they'll definitely be keeping you full for a long time which brings me to another study is that they found that people that added chickpeas to their diet tended to eat less throughout the day because the fiber kept keeping them full so if you are someone that's realizing you do eat a lot throughout the day or you do snack or find yourself very hungry often what you can do is start adding a serving of chickpeas either to your salad or maybe plain just eating it alone and that should reduce your appetite slightly Chickpeas come from a family of grams and are filled with a number of nutritional values that is beneficial for maintaining good health. Let's take a look at some of the health benefits of chickpeas. Rich in fiber, chickpeas reduces the risk of diabetes. People who have type 1 diabetes have shown remarkable changes in blood sugar levels after consuming chickpeas. Chickpeas are a good source of phosphate, calcium and magnesium which are beneficial nutrients to strengthen the bones. Chickpeas are known to be rich in fiber which helps in strengthening the digestive tract system. A healthy colon protects you from colon cancer. Chickpeas contains a mineral called magnesium that is the key antioxidant. This helps in flushing out the bad toxins from the body. Chickpeas are a good source of zinc and copper. These two important minerals play a vital role in the development of the immune cells. Many of you who want to lose weight the natural way can go ahead and try munching onto some delicious chickpeas. Loaded with fiber, chickpeas make you feel fuller than consumed. Chickpeas can definitely help in reducing the LDL that is the bad cholesterol level in the body which can at a later stage lead to heart diseases. Chickpeas contain photochemicals that lowers the risk of breast cancer in women. That is why it is advised to try eating chickpeas to maintain general health. Chickpeas are rich in iron and are very good for those who have iron deficiency. Stay tuned, we have more benefits to cover. So welcome back our dear viewers. Let's take a look at other benefits that beans can have. Now we all have heard about the probiotic benefits of yogurt and how they're really important for the intestinal flora. Well the thing is, these intestinal flora or the bacteria in your gut actually feed on certain types of food to grow and to benefit and to nourish in your gut. And these type of foods are beans. So what research has found is beans, once they're digested, provide the essential foods for the good bacteria to grow in your gut. So if you are someone that's considering getting probiotics, either from a supplement or from natural sources like fermented food or yogurt, then definitely do include beans in your diet. This way you can provide lots of good food for that flora to grow on and to feed on and for it to actually grow in popularity and then your gut will be feeling better. And actually this will counter these effects of bloating. So that's an excellent way to try to counter that effect.
Another thing that beans have been found to be good at is kill fungus. So beans do have some antibacterial properties in them. This research is still ongoing, so we're not sure what type of beans do what, but you can definitely include them, lots of benefit. And if, for example, now you're considering fasting or considering not eating for a long time, like we said, these beans can kill the cravings and can kill your appetite. So definitely an excellent food to include in your daily meals. I know a lot of people do battle with these upset stomach from beans. Try to include them weekly and then gradually go to daily. Anybody that has any problems with constipation, beans are a great food to add to your diet. They will definitely keep your digestive tract moving, but to avoid that huge bloating, you need to counter beans with water because beans have a lot of fiber in them, so they will expand in your gut. And then once you take in water, you will help push everything down. So without water, you will probably be feeling upset or just lousy for a couple of days. Definitely do consume a great deal of water with those beans. Like I said, try to always go for the natural variety. Avoid the canned ones because they do contain a lot of sodium in them, as well as a lot of compounds and chemicals that you don't really need. If you are going to absolutely have canned, then definitely wash it properly properly, drain it properly a couple of times, and I actually advise people to boil it one time, you know, quickly in hot water, throw out the water and add new one, just to make sure you got rid of all the sodium that can be stuck in it. Definitely try to add as many beans as you can in your diet, and we hope your lifestyle and your diet improves. Now we'll see you all next time.